Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil, of course, every day is a trade show. Happy 2024, Engineer Hall! Huh? Happy New Year! Woo! Yeah. yeah! Did you stay up to midnight? Uh, I, I, went to, I went to bed around like 9 o'clock, got up like 11.57ish for a couple seconds. Happy New Year! Went to bed. Mm. Well, I celebrated by running all my trains exactly at 12 o'clock. Then I got yelled at by my wife and they all went off at 12.01, so... Happy New Year. Yeah, different yeah. celebrations. You know what? We got a celebration today because this is our all scale trains show. Everything that we're gonna show you is from scale trains, and we got a bunch of stuff to show you. And we're gonna start with these. I gotta get this right. This is the 48 foot coil steel car in N scale and HO. Check this all out here. Let's take a look at the N scale ones because I took those out here. And I have these really cool looking coil cars here. These are very nicely detailed. Scale Trains does an awesome job with these cars here. And they are really neat. I have a whole multitude of different road names, road numbers, everything that you would want for your miniature railroad. I got them here. Now let's take a look at this NS one for example. If I take off the lid, check that out. There are the coils, and guess what, engineer, huh? What's up? Those are metal. Those are metal? Those are metal. They the... hold down the weight of the car. Oh, oh, so they're like the weight of the car. Exactly. So it kind of oh. serves a dual feature. High quality and makes this car stay on the track. If you take a look over here, I also have a whole bunch of different HL ones. I didn't take them out because they're all basically the same as the N-Scale. I got a whole bunch of road names here, Illinois Central. I really like these two down here in the middle here. If you take a look. This is a UP, but it also has an NS. And this one has a Burlington North Santa Fe, but there's an old school Burlington North in there. I really just think these are really neat looking cars here. They are very nicely detailed. They run great. They look great. And guess what? The prices are pretty good too. Now, for the HO coil cars, they retail for $65.99. Well, guess what? We're getting rid of that price. We're selling it here for $49.99. And then for the N scale coil cars, they retail for $49.99. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabba for $37.99. These are really nice cars here. As a matter of fact, when I was setting these cars up for the show, some guy bought three of them. All right, these are hot. So if you're interested in getting these cars here, making a nice long coil train, I highly suggest that you get these today because you're really going to enjoy the highly detailedness of 48 foot coil steel cars. Woo! Happy New Year! Yeah. Now, I bet you during the winter break, you had a lot of kids at home looking for things to do. But you probably needed a project. Well, I think these gondola kits from Scale Trains would have been the perfect thing to occupy their time here. So let's check out these Scale Train gondola kits here. And these are really cool looking kits here. I have a bunch of different road names here. We got the Western Pacific. We got one of my favorite roads, the Nickel Plate Road. Another one of my favorites, the New York Central. Then we have here the Erie. And then we have here the Burlington Root or the CB and Q. Now I took this one out of the plastic so you can see all the parts that go into there. You have the shell there, you have the framework here, you have the various different pieces, and of course, the wheels and the trucks and everything you need to make these kits look good. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, you know what, I'd rather just get the cars that are pre made. That's true, but I think when you hear the price, you're gonna be like, yeah, I gotta get some kits. So the retail price of these is $24.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Delaware for $19.99. You got a car here for under 20 bucks. All right, so for a couple extra dollars, you could do the work. You could make some in, uh, awesome looking gondolas to put behind maybe your coil train, and you could just have hours of railroad fun, preoccupy the kids. What's not the love? So come in to Yankee Dabble and get some of these kits so you can build some gondolas today. Now, let me inter interrupt here now, okay. right? So so I'm looking at this for the first time. Look like, okay. hey, look, it got the detail floor that looks pretty good. They have a nice, uh, for a kit, some kit be all flat. Uh, plastic bottom, but this got a nice little floor to it. It's I like cool. it. I like it. You know what, Engineer Hall? I think so, you need it for the ENH area. What I know, do you think? Right? Got the, the stairs there and stuff. Um, look, look, look really thin. Look pretty cool. I like that. But I'm sorry. It, it's your thing. I just decided no, to jump right. in. That's all right. You know what? It is the Engineer Hall channel, even though we tried to rename it unsuccessfully. So come in, Yankee Dad, and get them before Engineer Hall again. <laughs> We got some new diesel locomotives for you to check out in both the HO and N scale, and these are the C39-8s. And I gotta give you a little history because I went on the most reliable site I know, Wikipedia, and I gotta tell you a little history about these engines. Now, according to Wikipedia, the C3PO was a humanoid robot character found in the Star Wars franchise movie. He was built actually by Anakin Skywalker. About? I'm talking about the C3PO's. Anyway, the, according to C39-8, not C3PO's. Okay, I typed it in on Wikipedia, it popped up C3PO, so that's what it is, right? Look, his friend is R2D2. Do we have any of those? No. Okay. And... Wait, this doesn't make sense. 
Here, you 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 go. You okay. Go. Okay. So the GEC thirty nine dash eight was a locomotive that was actually built for only two different railroads. Scale trains did both of these in the current run. Starting off with the Conrail as built version. How you doing? These are how they appeared in the 1990s without ditch lights. Ditch lights were federally mandated by 1998. So these engines were built in the 80s. So they didn't have them as they started out. There is a rebuilt version in the quality scheme that scale trains offered. Uh, this one represents the locomotive as it got repainted and rebuilt. As they, as Conrail got split into Norfolk Southern and CSX, they eventually, all the engines got divided up between the two railroads. This one went to Norfolk Southern and these two locomotives are versions of the Conrail engine that went to CSX in the Dark Future scheme. Norfolk Southern also ordered C39-8s. Conrail ordered 22, and NS ordered 136 of them. This is one of the NS ones with a yellow snow plow for increased visibility. And this is one of the rebuilt Norfolk Southern ones with ditch lights. Now these engines are actually facing the correct direction because they ran long hood forward as they were built. And at the very end here we've got the Pennsylvania Northeastern C39-8s, number 8211 and 8212. As far as I'm aware, 8211 no longer operates, but 8212 still does and is the last remaining operational C39-8 in North America. So you tell me I have a piece of history right here in front of us? Yep, a piece of relatively modern history, but still history nonetheless. And not only that, but apparently they helped blow up the Death Star. I don't know what to do with you anymore. Anyway, we're going to take a look at both of these engines operational. We're going to start with N scale, so let's hear what these diesels sound like. We got that NS on the rails, let's start her up. All right, let's hear the bell. How about the horn? That's so cool. That's like a choo-choo horn. It's actually really neat because they got the right horn for it. That's a Leslie RS5T, which was common on Norfolk and Western engines. My show. Hey, let's run it. All board. That's a good sound of diesel locomotive. Let's hear what it sounds like in HO.
All right, let's take a listen to this bell. All right, let's hear this one. Hey, Engineer Hall. Yes. Guess why it's another choo-choo horn. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> oh, nice. They got the Leslie RS3L on this one. And if and if you uh, look at the front, the ditch light should be flashing, too, on the horn uh-huh. horn. Yeah, thank you. Go do other stuff. That's what people today. Jesus. I'm both. I think I heard a Conrail locomotive. Dagman? Yeah. You have your own show. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh, you boy. Let's get it started. Now arriving, Conrad Cloud. Well, I like the lights and sounds on these engines. They fa- sound fantastic. They pull great. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Now, all of the N scale engines, they retail for three eighteen ninety nine, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for two fifty four ninety nine. And the HO ones that we have here, they retail for three sixty two ninety nine, dollars and then we're selling them for two ninety nine ninety nine. dollars So if you're looking to get an uh, interesting part of railroading history, I recommend that you get these, these locomotives running on your roster because I think you're really going to enjoy them. Let's take a look at all the things that we looked at in today's show. It's an all-scale train show here. So I hope you enjoyed it. We had here these HO Gondola kits here, and these are really cool-looking kits here if you're looking for a fun weekend project to do. We had here these 48-foot coil steel cars in both available in HO and N scale. And then we had here the C39-8 available in HO and N scale. And I should mention that if you saw an N scale version that you like that you wish it was in HO, well, don't worry. I have those available and vice versa. The only ones that are specific to HO are these two right here. So if you're an N scaler and you were thinking about these, sorry about that. But everything else is available above in HO and N scale. So I didn't see the need to bring out two of the same engine. So if you're like, oh, I really like this one, but I wish it was in HO. Well, we do have it. And you can find that on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the search bar what you're looking for, and hopefully we get it sent to you as soon as possible so you can have hours of hours of railroad entertainment and start in the new year right with new trains. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the videos that we have this year, Engineer Hall. How many videos do you think we're going to do? 200. <sighs> um, that gets you about what? Mm, this is 50, what is 52 weeks in a year. That's a lot. Uh, so, you know, two, yeah, you know, yeah, we get there. Maybe okay, four well, trains he, He's uh, thinking 200. I'm thinking week, like you know? 30, so we'll somewhere in there. Anyway. Oh, we'll, we'll ballpark it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
All right, so, but if you're not click, hit that subscribe button and get caught up on everything that we have on our channel. We're going to conclude today's Railfan video. We're going to go to the Strasbourg Rare, and we're going to take a look at everyone's favorite decapod, number 90. It was uh, pulling trains at the end of the holiday season last year. And actually, when I was doing, uh, taking a video of it, I ran into two fans of the show, Jack and Gavin. They recognized me. We talked for a little bit, and I hope they got some great shots of 90 as well. So thanks for watching. And it's always fun to see people come in. We had Dakman come in and uh, say hi hi to us so we really appreciate all you guys watching our show and um just giving us the support we really do appreciate it again this is your year for five thousand subs right eh let's get it five thousand mm. yeah all right so enjoy that real fam video now if you excuse me it's 2024 new year new trains so i gotta make my list of everything i got so this is all going on the list that's all going on the hey. list Ooh, that's going on. Hey, did you hey. see these? Well, hey, good question. Um, I heard you're getting out discounts. Yeah, um, about that. 